You've been diagnosed with diabetes. Maybe it was a shock. Maybe it, it felt like a setback. Maybe it felt devastating. You might be wondering, oh my gosh, can this be reversed? Can I fix this, make it go away? Or can it be cured? Well, those are really, really good questions. And I've got answers for you today. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for this. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing uh, family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. First of all, 34 million people in the United States have diabetes and 90 million have pre-diabetes. In fact, many of those don't even know they have pre-diabetes. And we're specifically today talking about type two diabetes. And the issue there is that um, uh, generally the, uh, the body doesn't either make enough insulin or does not use insulin uh, effectively to reduce blood sugar levels and thus diabetes occurs. So back to this question of, can diabetes be reversed? Can type two diabetes be cured? The answer is yes and no. Let's start with the no, okay? We don't usually think about diabetes as something that is cured, okay? We don't usually talk about it in those terms, all right? So that is the no, okay? We don't think about diabetes as being curable, but there is good news. We do and can think of diabetes as something that could be potentially reversible. However, the term that we generally use is not reversible. It tends to be the, the term in remission. So while diabetes, we don't think of as being cured, we can think of you as um, going into remission with your diabetes. So let me explain. There are a number of groups, uh, medical groups over the years that have looked at this issue. How do we define diabetes being reversible or in remission? What does it mean for a patient? And one of the latest consensus groups has uh, made the statement that you could be considered to be in remission with your diabetes if you've had a normal blood sugar for at least three months or more without the use of medications. Okay, so I'm going to say that again. You can often be considered to be in remission uh, as long as your blood sugar levels have been normal without the use of medications for at least three months or more. Okay. Now, you might be saying, well, why don't we say that diabetes is cured then? Um, why, why do you say remission? Well, a couple of things. You got to keep this in mind. Number one, blood sugars can fluctuate. So you may not stay in remission. Your blood sugars may not stay normal. They can go to abnormal. And that's one of the reasons why we say that. Okay. One could easily sort of fall back into that needing medication category. So there's no guarantee that your diabetes will stay there forever. The other thing is that we know diabetes causes a lot of changes to our cells, some of which may not go away after a while, okay? There's other reasons as well, but this is some of the reasons why we refer to it as going into remission and not necessarily being something that we cure, okay? Now, I know you're wondering, okay, well, how do I get my diabetes to do that? I want it in remission, okay? Which is kind of another way of saying I want it to be reversed. I want to go back, okay, or backwards. Well, one of the biggest ways to um, get diabetes in remission for many people is to lose weight. Now, it's gonna be different for everybody. Some people have more weight to lose than other people. Some people don't have a lot of weight to lose. But for many who have weight to lose, losing weight, um, enough weight can be enough to sort of put your diabetes in remission if it's maintained, okay? That's a really good thing, by the way. And this is something I talk to my patients about. I always say, have hope, because know that there are things that you often can do to make this better. Remember, it's also important to lead a healthy lifestyle, to eat healthy, to make sure that you're exercising and to live a healthy life in general, uh, all around the board, not smoking and things like that, okay? But understanding that, yes, it is possible to have your diabetes go into remission and weight loss is often a major component of that for many people. So while we don't necessarily think about diabetes as being cured, I do want you to have hope and remember that it is something that you can go into remission with. And that means a lot. Remember, you can live a long, healthy, happy, productive life with diabetes, um, even if it is diabetes in remission. Just make sure you talk to your doctor because different doctors may use different terms and what you need to do is likely gonna be different than what someone else needs to do. I want you to let me know what you think of this video. If you've been able to sort of put your diabetes in remission, uh, what this means to you, let me know in the comments, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. If you've not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Thank you so much. And consider joining my subscription groups as well for exclusive content. Guys, I'll see you soon.